Grandpa, <laughs> don't let Chris tell you any lies. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> At this time, we're going to invite uh, Charles and Warren Phipps to present uh, Jody. Jay, I don't know who's talking first. But... about who was Charles J or Warren K or which one because never nobody could ever tell the two of them apart. So my dad is Charles K and my uncle is Warren J. <laughs> they both graduated from Northridge. Uh, my mom drove a school bus at Northridge for a lot of years and um, we have the next generation coming up. My kids graduated from Northridge, too, so we've got a lot of years at Northridge. Um, this last two days has been amazing. I have learned a lot. I've made friendships with the other honorees, and we have just had an amazing time. Um, Peggy saved us with singing and her little... Uh, her little duck with the little kids. That was perfect. Um, so 
what I'd like to say is it does take a village to raise a child. And I'm thankful that my village is here with me tonight. I've got family that my grandfather, who's been very ill, made it. Um, and I'm just thankful that I was able to bring as, that as many people were able to come tonight. To everyone seated with me, you're all chapters of my life, and I appreciate your love. The other part of my village lessons came from my teachers, advisors, and friends throughout my years at Northridge. I was lucky to have spent 12, or kindergarten through graduation at Northridge. So I've got some stories I'd like to share about people who have made me who I am today. Um, I'll start with Morrison Elementary School. Miss Mahan, she was my kindergarten teacher. Almost 30 years after I left her class, I walked into a printing company. I placed my order and the lady behind the counter asked me if I was Jody Phipps. I said yes, and with a big smile on her face, she said I was your kindergarten teacher. My lesson, first impressions do matter. Mr. Cox, music. Music fills your heart with joy and makes your life full. Lesson, sing loud and sing often. Miss Lauder was my gym class teacher. She taught me how to play dodgeball. And the moves have come in handy when my grandkids have called the dodgeball game. They thought I was going to be the easy target. Nana rule. <laughs> my lesson, keep moving and never give up. Mrs. Pollard was the playground monitor. She always had a hug for us when we got hurt on the playground. My lesson, simple hugs can fix a lot. Middle school, Miss Weatherhead, home economics. I was a rotten kid in her class, but she taught me how to cook from scratch. My lesson, use the resources that you have. Mr. Nidefer, I was lucky enough to have him two years for math, seventh and eighth grade. He used to say, math is fun. I'm still working on that. Lesson, always carry a calculator. <laughs> Mr. Crandall, he was my English and um, school newspaper in the middle school. It was layout and design circa 1973. Cutting and pasting included scissors and glue. He would say, make sure that you cut the stories into nice squares so they fit nicely on the page. I am sure he was the one who put the publishing bug in my ear. My lesson, edit twice, cut once. <laughs> High school, Mrs. Barry, English. Lead with your heart, it will never steer you wrong. Lesson, love is the answer. Mr. Sharp was my art teacher. Art is a gift. Being creative is an option. Lesson, use your options and never stop being creative. Miss Hahn and Miss Withrow. Um, Miss Hahn was gym teacher and they were both our field hockey coaches. They taught me, don't just be on a team, be part of the team. Everyone plays an important part from the players to the scorekeepers. If we all do our best, we all succeed. Lesson, a winner never quits and a quitter never wins. Mr. Sheehan, and I was so hoping he was going to be here tonight. He was my driver's ed teacher. Now this man actually got into a car with four 16-year-old girls. Now we didn't have texting and we didn't have cell phones back then, but we had this neat little sign that said, send help. And we would stick it up in the back window as often as we could get away with it. And he never yelled at us. I was so surprised. What I learned from him was, when you get on the highway, punch it, keep up with the crowd, and don't stop. And believe me, in Arizona, that has come in handy. In talking to Morrison Elementary yesterday, one of the things I stress to the kids is that there are friendships that you develop as a child that are the most important. And what I want to say is 
from Morrison Elementary School, I have four friends here that have come to see me tonight. Lisa Daniels, Gigi Gross Clothes, Sheila Jackson, and then Dawn is back there too, but she didn't join our group until middle school. I love you girls, and I appreciate your support, and uh, we've got lots more years together. Um, I'd like to finish with uh, talking about my brother. We lost Chuck three years ago tomorrow. He had a lengthy illness. He was one year ahead of me in school, and he paved the way for making it a lot less scary for me to approach each new year. We shared friends, accomplishments, stories, and lots of laughs. I miss him every day, but I know he's smiling down on me tonight. Chuck's lesson, march to the beat of your own drum and enjoy each step along the way. To the Hall of Fame committee, for your continued efforts to highlight the positive in Northridge, I thank you. To the teachers, counselors, administration, my family and friends, I want you to know that you are all chapters in my book called My Life, and you have made a profound impact on me. You are the reason I am who I am today and the reason why I stand here. Thank you to all of you who are my village. Jerry, you want me to tell the stories about her? <laughs> she felt I forgot. Well, it's a different story than I was going to tell her. But when she was little, she was probably three or four years old, something like that, and she was out in the backyard playing. And I went out there and I said, Jody, what have you got in your mouth? And uh, she opened her mouth up and she had a nightcrawler. <laughs> and that night caller was clear. I mean, she had just sucked it clear. And then, from then on, I always took her fishing with me. <laughs> Joey, it's an honor for me to present this to the Northridge Hall of Fame. Wishes to express its appreciation and thanks to Jody Phillips, Jody Phipps Wilson for achievements and contributions that have a positive reflection on the Northridge community. Inducted into the 2014 Northridge Hall of Fame, October the 18th, 2013. Graduation, you are now an official member of the Northridge Hall of Fame. Let's give them all one last. Congratulations.